as Chris Parch from the Fred Franks Local Nature Reserve. Talking about our suds planters, you know roughly where they're going to go, but we need to be thinking about the base and where our outlets are going to go. So you need to talk to Alex about a week before delivery to decide on where your outflow pipes are going to go. Ours are on opposite sides, so they feed into the original drains. Our ground is a very thin layer of soil, a bit of vegetation, um, so we needed to get some sleepers. So we just put on a local Facebook page, someone had some spare ones, and we picked them up and popped them down. So we were originally going to have them elevated, but with Alex's um, trolleys, it just wouldn't work very well. Um, so we had to uh, dig them into the ground. So we dug them in and we leveled them off to each other and uh, made sure it was flush to, to the ground. There's Brian doing a little bit of raking there. And there we go. Bit of stone in between, just so that the trolley wheels wouldn't sink down. And here's the Alex's trolleys uh, now. So this enables us to stay two metres apart. Even though the um, sleepers weigh 130 kilos, the trolley just made it really easy to, to move them. And these are the feet, and so that's why you need to have uh, a solid base, because otherwise they'd sink. And this is the first one all nicely levelled off. The second one's a little bit trickier to level off, um, especially if you've got them side by side, but not impossible at all. Uh, soil, you can have more than two people, you just got to make sure you don't put the soil down behind the, the liners. So Alex brings along some old blankets, and then you just carry the soil over, 25 kilos each. You have to lift them, the night centuries off the ground, obviously you'd tip them in, and then Alex tamps them down, breaks up the, the pieces of soil. And just make sure you don't get any soil down the outflow pipe. And in the corners, you've got uh, the removable, lockable uh, hand pump, water pump. Each plant has got 300 litre capacity, so it's, they're fantastic. And there's the outflow pipe leading to the original drain, which Alex did. And there we go. All looking brilliant. The little step there so you can, uh, children can look in and, and do planting and so on. So the time lapse, I've just included this really just to show you that even though we've been really careful um, and only three of us, um, it's so easy to get within two metres of each other. Sometimes this is totally accidental, um, other times um, the, the, you know, they, they weigh 130 kilos each and if you're going to be levelling them off, someone's going to hold um, the, the, the other end off the ground um, so that you can adjust the the, the heights of each of the feet but um, didn't happen too often so so that's cool but really can't have more than um, three people doing this unless of course your soil is miles away uh, and then you can just have people bringing the soil um, over to the site so while Brian and Alex were adjusting the suds planters and Alex was leveling them off I moved the soil to the back of the lorry um, and then when we got the blankets in place Brian and I just took turns adding the bags in there. Alex would step out of the way and then we'd get out of the way, he'd level them down and um, it, it didn't take us very long to, to, to do this bit. In fact, the whole thing only took, um, we arrived at 10 and we were finished by 2. Uh, there were quite a few chats in between. And there we go, looks brilliant. Just the good thing to do next.